Hey guys, I'm Megan and you're watching Fabulous TV Pattaya. Today I'm bringing you about a 30 to 40 minute drive out of Pattaya City. We are here today to check out a great place to bring the whole family for a day out, especially the kids. That is the Institute of Marine Science. Now, if you don't know where this place is, it is located directly next to the Burrapah University. Inside there is so much to see all the marine life there's also shows feeding the fish and there's lots for your kids to learn here too it's a great day out and not far from Pattaya city so come on let's head inside and check it out the institute of marine science near the beachside in bangsan close to chombury admission fee is 220 baht for adults and 80 baht for children the Institute is divided into three sections, the Marine Science Museum, the Aquarium and a research laboratory. Live shows take place daily. Divers feed the giant marine life in the aquarium every day at 2.30pm. There's also many other interesting things to see, such as the skeletal remains of a whale which was washed up on the nearby Bangsan beach, as well as hundreds of different kinds of beautiful marine life. The centre exists both for research purposes and as a place for students and visitors to learn about marine science. The Institute of Marine Science is open 8.30 a.m. until 5 p.m. Tuesday until Sunday and makes a very pleasant day out for the whole family. Fitness in Mike Shopping Mall is giving away free yoga and Zumba classes to all members. And you get their state-of-the-art fitness equipment, air-conditioned studios, and a choice of classes too. Gents buy three months get one free, six months get two free, 12 months get three free. And for the ladies who are looking to keep in shape, you get 50% off all memberships. Take advantage of these great deals now, from 7 a.m. through till 11 at night. Coco Fitness, no excuses. Fabulous 103 FM with crew fun at Thai time. Good morning. Sabadika. How are you? I'm fine. What are we going to learn today? You have to say when you're in pain, like uh, your eyes is in pain, you can say Jeb. 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 J E P. Yeah, Jeb. Jeb. So you can say. 
Jetta, Jet. No, just another round. The Jetta. Jetta, yes. Jetta, my Jetta. eyes hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Or you can say Buat. 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 Yes. That's hurt as well, is it? Yes. Buatta. Buatta. Yes. So Jet or Buat. Is in pain. Is in pain. Right. All right. And when something is swollen, like your eyes swollen. 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 There you go. <laughs> English lesson for you today. Swollen. swollen. Yes. Is buam. 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 Yes. Is swollen. Ta buam. Ta buam. Yes. My eyes are swollen. Correct. Buam. That's buam. an interesting one. Yeah. Buam. So swollen. Then you can use that with the body parts. Any body part. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, tie time for today. We're back tomorrow. Immigration officers in Don Wang Airport, who thought the clampdown on corruption didn't apply to them, were surprised at the weekend when at least three were arrested facing charges of issuing fake or real immigration stamps for cash. They were nabbed following arrests earlier in the month of some five foreigners who duly ratted their suppliers out to police in their statements. Lieutenant General Surachate told media that as the inquiry widens, there will be more arrests. A Chinese student in Bangkok complained to police that her landlady had scammed her out of 100,000 baht. It seems that the Chinese was leaving her rented rooms and had asked for her deposit back. The landlady instead demanded 100,000, claiming that the Chinese was an illegal here, and the money was a fine. The thief, however, will face the wrath of authorities, as she used a fake letter that she claimed came from immigration to get the woman to cough up, and she already has other warrants outstanding for similar scams. Tears or fake tears? A so-called cutie and a member of a dance and singing band cried as she apologised to her fans at a concert for wearing a T-shirt the day before which carried a swastika emblem. Online moans and groans from supposedly German and Israeli embassies led to her apology. Perhaps her fall to the floor as she begged her fans was slightly over the top, but then again, according to many, so were the online whingers, who always overlooked the fact that the swastika was an emblem before Hitler's mum had even married her cousin. And World War II isn't a part of history curriculum in most of Asia. That corpse discovered in Rayong last week, one of a gang who ran an online gambling site, last week we reported that a fellow scammer had fled to his own Korean embassy in fear of his life and then made a statement to police blaming two others. Now, we're told, the guy who used a chainsaw and hatchet to chop up the corpse did so because the dead man was being paid 100,000 baht a month guarantee, whereas he was only on a third of that. A tip, perhaps, to crime lords, share and share alike. That is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM, keeping you in touch with Thailand and, of course, Patia, the city of fun. Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Hello, I'm Alistair Ross at BBC Sport and Tottenham have been knocked out of a second cup competition in quick succession, suffering a 2-0 defeat in the FA Cup fourth round at Crystal Palace, days after losing their League Cup semi-final to Chelsea. Connor Wickham marked his first start in over two years with the opening goal. It meant an awful lot. The emotion, you know, my eyes lit up when it, when it came across. I think, you know, when you're putting the ball in the back of the net, there's, that's what you're, you're looking for when you're, you're injured and that's the inspiration to come back. An Andros Townsend penalty sealed Palace's win. Holders Chelsea are through to the fifth round. They beat Sheffield Wednesday 3-0 with 18-year-old Callum Hudson-Odoi scoring just 24 hours after handing in a transfer request. Wednesday had a penalty award ruled out by the video assistant referee. Here's the assistant Chelsea boss Gianfranco Zola. I've always been in favour of the VAR. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a system that, uh, if it's used properly, can really help uh, in a lot of situations. Luckily today it helped us <laughs> and, uh, and we are very pleased with that. 
So with Arsenal, Burnley, Newcastle, West Ham, Everton and Spurs all knocked out this weekend, seven teams including Liverpool knocked out in the last round and two sides being taken to a replay, Chelsea are one of only five Premier League teams guaranteed a place in the last 16. Defender Marcus Alonso, though, is not getting carried away. It's still a long way. We've got to be patient. Uh, we have uh, an important game of, of the Premier League in, in two or three days and we will see who... We will get in the next round and, and take it easy, go for it and, and keep training hard. The draw takes place on Monday and for more football news from the BBC, go to bbc.com slash football. BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. The referees can't decide who the winner should be in the big match between Retox versus Retox Game On. Retox in Soy Lenky is the sports bar with more. And more of those specials, like the 98 bat breakfast and daily Brexit specials. Retox Game On in Soy Honey is the brand new sports bar, with 50 TVs including one at your own table, plus the surprise of a new menu and seating for 200 for any match, day or night. The battle continues 24 hours a day. Try Retox and Retox Game On, then you decide. Somehow, by a respect to Buddha in Chomru this time, my life had changed when I met her. Oh, lucky me. Did she pray for a boyfriend? When you finish, didn't you see that it's a long life behind you here? How about praying together? This place is very famous for guaranteed matchmaking success. Here we go again. Anything I can help? No, thanks.
so beautiful. Yeah. It seems like we have the same taste here. Coming up next, Patia Mail taking you on a road trip. Today on my mooch about the island. <laughs> hey! Wow, look at this. Look at that. And you can stay in these rooms, eh? Lamai fresh coconut ice cream, and I absolutely love it. Ice cream. <laughs> wow, 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 even if I do. Even spoon. if I do drop the spoon. Okay. <laughs> and now we're coming up to Fisherman's Village and Beauport Beach. There you go, Fisherman's Village and Bowput Beach. Back on the bike now and look for somewhere else to go. Come on, let's carry on mooching. Time for a fruit shake. Either a mango or a strawberry or banana, something like that one. And here they're doing them at just 60 baht. Banana, kiwi, watermelon, strawberry, dragon fruit. Hello. It's got to be a mango, please. Thank you. Thank you. Tell you what, it's too hot now. That's enough of the uh, mooching about for one day in this heat. I'm gonna cool off now with my nice uh, mango smoothie. Look out for part two of mooching on Koh Samui coming soon. But until then, the main thing is keep smiling. <laughs> The Naglua Walk and Eat Market, also known as Naglua Walking Street, is an annual event now in its 10th year and has become a popular spot for both tourists and locals, with over 200 vendors offering all kinds of delicious local delicacies. Mm. 
The event is held to promote Naglua's heritage as an old fishing village, and it's a great opportunity to enjoy locally caught seafood. The Naglua Walk and Eat Market will be taking place every Saturday and Sunday from 5 until 10 p.m. until the 24th of February, and is located at the far end of Naglua Road. Not only is there lots of tasty food, but visitors can also enjoy live entertainment, music performances, concerts and cultural shows, making it a great evening out for the whole family. Let's have a look at some of the special events and promotions coming up around Pattaya today and this coming week. Earth Hour Evening at the Sala Rim Nam Restaurant promises whining and dining your evening away under the stars with a candle-lit Earth Hour Dinner. Indulge in a Thai traditional feast in romantic and relaxing surroundings out by the lotus ponds at Sala Rim Nam, which is located at the Avani Patia Resort and Spa on Second Road. That's every Monday evening from 7 until 10 in the evening. The Garden Cafe at Avani Patia Resort and Spa promises that you can fill your boots with a feast for all the family at the cafe, enjoying a sizzling international and barbecue seafood buffet. That's going to be brimming with delicious dishes and fresh seafood. Takes place daily from 6 until 10 and is priced at only 850 baht per person. You can find the Garden Cafe inside the grounds of the Avani Patia Resort and Spa and that's a great way to escape Songkran for a few hours. Every Tuesday night is Mediterranean night at the Bang Saray Beach Club. Feast on a Mediterranean buffet consisting of delicious pizza, pasta, salads, appetizers and more, priced at only 300 baht per person. And all that while you enjoy live music throughout the evening, overlooking the beautiful beachfront views of Bangsaray Bay. That starts from 6 o'clock onwards every Tuesday evening. A great brand new offer at the Hotel Barracuda on Patia's Second Road. Sit back, relax and take in the panoramic views over the city from the Rooftop Sunset Lounge, where their gin and jazz night every Friday and Saturday from 7 offers two hours of free flow imported gin, cheese and cold cuts while listening to live jazz. Make your Saturday night special and fill your boots at the Sala Rim Nam at the Avani Patia Resort and Spa on Second Road. There you can enjoy a Saturday night buffet with a wide selection of cuisines from different buffet stations. Tickle your taste buds with an array of regional Thai favourite dishes and desserts while enjoying live entertainment throughout the evening with traditional Thai dancing and live music. Every Saturday evening from 6 until 10, the price is only 599 baht plus plus per person and children under the age of 5 can eat free. That's at the Sala Rim Nam at the Avani Patia Resort and Spa on 2nd Road. A Sunday isn't a Sunday without a proper Sunday roast and one that we recommend having tried it is the Sunday Carvery at Dicey Riley's Pub and Restaurant, which is on 2nd Road, right next door to the Avani Hotel. 
a traditional roast with all the trimmings priced at only $4.49, and that includes a free drink too. The Café G at the Holiday Inn in Patia offers a breakfast buffet from 5.30 in the morning all the way through till 10.30. It's an international breakfast buffet every single day of the week with an array of Thai and international dishes, along with live cooking stations and, of course, fresh coffee, priced at only 550 baht on weekends, and even less during the week, 299 baht. Every Thursday is curry night at the Bangsare Beach Club, which of course is in Bangsare. Enjoy a different curry every week, paired with naan bread, poppadoms and onion bhajis. The price is only 250 baht a set. Tasty Indian food while you sit overlooking Bangsare Bay. That's every Thursday evening and starts at 6 in the evening. Fancy some live music and relaxation? Well, why not try the Havana Bar and Terrazzo restaurant? They're both at the Holiday Inn. And on Wednesdays all the way through till Saturday, you can sit back, relax and enjoy the wonderful sounds of the brand new in-house band. The Respect Band performs a range of Western, Thai, Chinese, country and even pop music. And that's located at the front of the Holiday Inn in Patia's Beach Road. 